I'm Jim Bennett. I'm the director of the Museum of the History of Science and I've done this job for 15 or 16 years. The museum is a department of the university. In many ways it's like any other academic department. We teach students in the history of science, we do research, but we have this special feature that we open our departmental doors to the public. So we open six days a week, people can visit us free of charge. We have five or so public galleries, we have a whole program of public events and exhibitions. And we're like the other museums of the university in that respect. The university has, I would say, discovered in the last 10 or so years, or 10 or 12 years, come to value the fact that it has this public resource. The university can, can in, welcome members of the public in to enjoy its facilities and, uh, and uh, appreciates the richnesses of the uh, of the collection and appreciate them in an academic environment. What we have to do then is try not to make that too stuffy, try to make that relevant to people's enjoyment of a visit to Oxford. So we have to try this rather um, difficult balance between being interesting and even entertaining but at the same time having some worthwhile content. The museum is very successful at the moment. Um, we had 140,000 visitors last year. Since we opened our recent special exhibition in the last four weeks, we've had 18,000 visitors just in four weeks. And, and to be honest, at present, we're having difficulty thinking of the future because we're doing our best to keep up with the present, if that makes sense. Um, uh, the, the things we're doing are uh, so popular that the staff resources is, is, is perhaps inadequate to, to dealing with that. Um, so I think at the, for the future we have to stabilize, we have to, we've, we've found uh, a formula of, uh, within the public interest that's, that, that, that's working for us and we have to go with that to try to continue with exhibitions that are both a bit edgy and different from what happens in the rest of the university um, but also, as I said, have academic content, so people are learning things, there's a strong educational element to a visit to the Museum of the History of Science.